Good Tuesday morning, everybody. So, I woke up a little late this morning, so it looks like it's going to be a hat head kind of day today. So, anyway, uh, I just thought I'd make me another episode of things that pissed me off. So, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, share it with your friends. If you don't have any friends, share it with the people you don't like. Maybe share it with your family. Maybe eventually somebody will like you, and then you'll have a friend. I don't know. <laughs> and maybe your friends won't ever like it. I don't know. If you're traveling in the same small circle, who knows? Anyway, hit that button. See if you can't find my new content when it comes out. Because I have no doubt, due to my content, I will eventually either be banned or shadow banned. So, anyway, go ahead and help me out. Hit that like button. Subscribe. So, the thing that pisses me off this morning is I was watching the news. And they were talking about Biden and his economic growth. All right, first off, <clears throat> it was horrible. But all the Democrats are out there saying, oh, well, it's it's missing context. It's not going to be as high as it normally should be because we still got to unvaccinated. We got the, 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 the epidemic, the, the plague of the unvaccinated. Well, uh, first off, they keep saying, Biden government said, I've created five million jobs under my administration. Well, first off, you know, before you even took office, there was, you know, people was already going back because they finally lifted them draconian lockdowns. So companies were allowing everybody to go back to work. So, you know, that's a lot of people going back to work. But that ain't what pisses me off. What pisses me off is how they keep claiming they're creating jobs. But you ain't created shit. That's like me going out and just not watering my grass all summer long and just letting it die. And then right at the end of the summer, I go out and fertilize the shit out of it, water it, get it all flourishing, man, it's back to green. Well, guess what, Hoss? I didn't create a million blades of gr green grass. I didn't create it. I didn't go out and plant seeds and grow that shit up and have new grass. Well, all I did was revive shit I already killed. So if you kill the jobs and then you raise the restrictions and allow people to go back to work, that ain't you creating jobs. That's you allowing people to go back to work to jobs they already had. So quit saying you created jobs. Just say, hey, we have, I don't know, lifted our restrictions, allowed people to go back to work, and this many people have gone back to work. Quit saying you created jobs. You didn't create shit. The only thing you did was create more issues. So, you know, first off, that's nonsense. Second off, quit inflating your numbers, man. You can't even count your first month in office because you didn't do shit. So you sitting there counting that and giving an average based on your, your months in office. No, that's horse shit, hoss. The first month or two, you didn't do shit. So you ain't you even get to claim that. Talk about, all. Oh, I have created You ain't created shit. Other than the jobs you canceled right on day one and then day two and day three and day five. I mean, you can't sit there and tell me you claim you created all these jobs. You ain't created shit. All you did was, you know, let people go back to work. That's it. And not only that, but you're failing at that. If you look at the numbers, you're failing, brother. I mean, it's because all these Democratic counterparts, they got these damn mandates. Not only that, but you're killing your own self. You shot yourself in the foot announcing that damn mandate, didn't you, dummy? You didn't think that one through, did you? So you're going you're gonna to announce this mandate. People quitting left and right. Just thinking the mandates. we got all these cities and states and, and federal government requiring these mandates. People just say, fuck you. You ain't going to force me to take it. And it has nothing to do with the vaccine. Nothing. Whether you take it or you don't take it, that's between you and your doctor. That, that is your personal decision. It is not the government's right to tell you what you have to do in your own body. That's the problem. The problem is people don't like being told by wannabe dictators. <laughs> I said dictators. I meant dictators. Uh, what they have to do with their own body, with their own health. Screw you. It ain't your body. If that shit goes wrong, gives me something, you know, what? What do I do? I can't do shit. I can't sue my. I can't sue the company. I can't sue the manufacturer. I can't even sue the government. Well, I can't because I'd be dead. But my family can't. So why do you get to tell me I get to risk myself to take it? 
I've already beat it. Okay, so in a year, maybe I get it again. How many cases out there have people had the vid, survived it, then got it again and died? Zero. You know how I know it's zero? Because if there was one case, one, even one case in the world of somebody that previously was diagnosed with it, got it again and died the second time, that would be on every lefty news channel there ever was. But ain't one case. So you're not going to sit there and tell me that if you get reinfected, that you're going to die. No, horseshit. I already had it once. I might get it like the flu if it's an every year thing. I might get it in 20 years and it, it kick, make me kick the bucket. But, you, you know, we ain't got that kind of proof yet. So if you sit there and tell me I got to take that jab, no, sir. No. And that's why people are quitting. You threaten them with ultimatums? I ain't, I don't give ultimatums unless I'm dead serious. If I give you an ultimatum, you better bet I'm on, I'm on, I'm on my, yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's just how it's going to be. It's either going to be this way or this way. You gave me an ultimatum, they're like, boop, adios, you know. I was looking for a job when I found this one. I ain't got to, I ain't got to take that jab. There's plenty of jobs out there don't require that shit. And there will always be jobs out there because there's Americans that believe that that mandate is first off unconstitutional, second off, it's just wrong. You can't, it's morally wrong. You can't force me to do shit for my health. You know, people are like, oh, well, you gotta take them to get in school, unless you got a religious exemption. A lot of these companies aren't even giving that. They're just saying, eh, you have to take it or you out. No, I don't. <sighs> so I guess you, mm, I'm out. Simple as that. You know, maybe now the airlines and these, these uh, 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 transportation avenues are, are, are putting theirs out on the chopping block and saying, hey, <laughs> do without us. What are you going to do now, lefty? Didn't think that one through either, did you? You know, you can't just tell people that they got to do it or they're out because a lot of people have options. And they're just like, okay, I'm out. What are you going to do whenever you get a whole bunch of pilots? And I don't know if that's true or not, but we're going to find out. Because the sure shit wasn't the weather. The FCC already said, no, nah, it weren't the weather. It weren't the air traffic control. They didn't have enough people. Well, you ain't enough people. You can't fly the plane. So that's the issue. Anyway, Lefty, maybe you ought to think about shit before you do it. But quit saying you created jobs. Quit saying, you know, that you're, 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 you're helping the economy. You ain't helping the economy. The economy's in the shithole. You're wanting to spend another five billion dollars, three point five, which actually adds up to about five, with all the bullshit that's in it. Then you got the one point nine original one, so that's actually closer to eight billion dollars that y'all want to spend to help inflation. Really, let's print more money to lower inflation. Only a lefty can come up with that shit. Anyway, I'm done with my rant. I've cooled off. Y'all have a great day. Uh, See you on the next